Hi neighbors that can all hear me. <laughs> Hey, what's good guys, Keaton here. So I've been trying a lot of new keyboards recently just because like, see that keyboard back there? I don't know, might have to pause the video and zoom in. I I've been using the Apple keyboards for like the past five years. And honestly, I feel like the biggest basic Starbucks drinking person out there. So I found a keyboard today that kind of mimics a typewriter. And I don't know, I just thought it looked really sweet. So let's check it out. This right here is the Quirky Writer. It's pretty expensive. It goes for 350 bucks. Links below. And the whole thing with this, as I said before, is it's supposed to mimic a typewriter, but kind of bring it to the modern day. And when I first saw this, I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. And in case you don't know what a typewriter is, because like you, you haven't seen an older movie before, which, you know, it's okay. Just might want to get on that, pause this, go watch an older movie, and then come back. But it's supposed to be a really loud thing. That's what a typewriter is. So this has that, it checks all those boxes. The weight on this alone is so heavy. It looks really great, it's got metal, it feels awesome. And the big thing here is, it's a mechanical keyboard too. You can hear how clicky and just how loud it is. It is Cherry MX switches in case you guys wanted to know. Now this keyboard is a Bluetooth keyboard. So it works with both Mac and PC devices and you can even pair it up to your iPhone or iPad if you're interested. Now, the only thing is, they only make one version of this and well, let's just say it's the PC version. And this is kind of where I start to regret this $350 purchase. Now, what really sucks about this is they don't make a Mac version. And well, uh, if you look back there, Mac Pro, iMac, and that's really what I was looking for because there's only one command key here. We have a print screen key up here. Like, hi, hi I, I don't need that. There's no volume keys for Mac that work. Trust me, I've tried. I mean, you got everything else you would need if you're a PC user. You got, you know, your function keys, your tab. I just wish there was a Mac option. And there is this lever right here, which is something you will find on a real typewriter. And it's actually a programmable macro. So you can set a specific function, have it do something you want specifically on the keyboard, which is awesome. And yeah, you can program volume buttons on here, but like, I just, was thinking my $350 was just gonna get me going right out of the gate, and it really didn't. So the problem with the Quirky Writer is it doesn't have all the keys that I use on my Mac. This is a really PC geared keyboard. That's fine, but like, that's just my biggest issue with it. So I got my Apple Magic keyboard here, and I use these volume keys quite a bit. Um, I have a command button on both sides of the space bar. I got brightness control, and like, yeah, you can program it on the Quirky Writer. It's just, it's an extra step. And I just kind of wanted to pull this out of the box and like, just get ready to go. And one of the things on typewriter that you will find is this kind of lever here. And yes, you can program that lever to do certain things, but like, if they only had a Mac version, I would, I would say $350 well spent. So the Quirky Writer charges by micro USB. You'll get a cable in the box. Right there, you're all set and the power switch is on the side, so it's pretty discreet. It's got a nice a nice kind of design. I really do like that about this. So I'm gonna show you guys how to type on this. I got my iPad mini right here. I got the Quirky Writer paired to my iPad here. Now one thing is, the Quirky Writer has circular keys. That's what typewriters had. Now, this is interesting because it actually takes a lot longer to get used to than what you'd normally think because your normal keyboard has square keys, which at least with this keyboard right here, it has a bigger surface area for your fingers to make contact with. And I thought right off the bat I'd get used to this, but it took me about a week and there were tons of mistakes. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna give you guys a demo now. So we'll do, I got you. So normally I get near 100% accuracy on my Magic Keyboard. And while this sounds flippin' awesome, I don't really know if it's worth the 350 bucks. And that's kind of just what I want to drive here. If there was a Mac version, it would be freaking awesome. This thing looks amazing on a desk, but for 350 bucks, I don't really think it's one of those things I can recommend and I would even buy again. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, a like rating would be really awesome. Go ahead and get subscribed if you're new around here. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.